Okay, so what we want to do here is that kind of transition. So you see there is someone passing here. Um, and we switch to another plan. And again, we have again someone who passing here and we switch to that other plan. So now what, what, what I want to do is that there will be someone else passing by this one. And I want to switch to me. I have to say something. So what we want to do is uh, you see here there is the effect. Uh, you go in mask and you select the draw mask. So yeah, I want to set that on that girl. And so I'm going to drag the draw mask just right here. And we're going to go on a little smaller window because I want to see everything. I'm going to start the mask right here. So here we can cut into the, the hair. It doesn't mind. She passed so fine. Nobody won't see it. We can get that backpack. It could be great. Up to here. It doesn't mind if, if you get it perfectly or not. Again, she passed so fast, we won't see it. So let's go up to there, there, and there. So now we have the mask of the girl passing by. And now she's not there. So we're going to go back and we're going to move the mask over here. Uh, if, if you didn't set it big enough, that's why we go on 25% so we can put the mask outside of the window. Uh, if you didn't go big enough, you can still move it. Uh, so we're gonna advance frame by frame until she came in and okay, that's where I want the frame to start. So what is important here is that we go and transform position and we had a keyframe over here. And then we move with the arrow, continue with the timeline, and we move the mask just right there. We move again with one arrow from one frame and we replace it. And sometimes it stops, want to move with the arrow. Okay, so we continue. And what is important is that you heat. So it, you cover your subject. You, you don't want to let that little space here because that won't do a great effect. Uh, you can add your feather right now because the other way it will not be a beautiful transition. Right there. That, that one, we, we won't set a keyframe. So let's keep moving and move this over 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 i think you get it if your subject moving at the very same speed all the way along well you might just put a keyframe at the beginning and the end but usually doesn't work that well. Well, I mean, I find that I got a better result using that method. And one more, we're out. Boom. Uh, and so from that, I want to cut this. So come on B. And I'm going to set this higher. And right there. Switch to me. By her passing by. So what we have now, we can set the, this back to fit. We can see a lot more better. And this is it. So if we want to see this full frame, you press on Command Shift F and it play right away.
there we are. So this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. If yes, please make a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment below. I may simply answer you or even maybe make a video just for you. So don't forget to subscribe. And what you do see back there is from my main channel. So please come take a look at this right there. Thank you for watching again. See ya.